Okay, let's proceed with case 2. So, for g of x is equal to an exponential function k e raised to mx, where k and m are uh, known functions or known constants. So, k and m are known constants. So, ang ating uh, trial solution yp is equal to a e to the mx, where a is a constant to be determined. So, let us try this example. It's given that d squared minus 7 dy is equal to 5 e to the 6x. Again, ang ating general solution for a non-homogeneous LDE, ay y is equal to yc plus yp. So again, let's solve for yc first. So paano makukuha ang yc? So solve lang natin itong as if homogeneous siya. So that's m squared minus 7m is equal to 0. Then you'll have m times the quantity m minus 7 is equal to 0 as factors. Then m is 0, m is equal to 7. Then you have a distinct linear roots or distinct roots, na real. So our yc is equal to c1 e to the 0 x, kasi x yung gamit doon, plus c2 e to the 7 x. Or that is c1 plus c2 e to the 7 x is our yc. So let's solve for yp. So ang yp natin ay... So, rewrite muna natin. So, d squared minus 7 dy is equal to 5 e to the 6x. So, this can be written as y double prime minus 7 y prime is equal to 5 e to the 6x. So, since our g of x is equal to 5 e to the 6x, our trial solution yp is equal to a e to the 6x. So from our solution, uh, from our given, yp double prime minus 7 yp prime is equal to 5 e to the 6x. So all you need to do is to find yp prime and yp double prime from your yp. So yp prime here is equal to 6a e to the 6x. yp double is 36a e to the 6x, finding the derivative from this yp is equal to a e to the 6x. Substituting yp double is equal to 36a e to the 6x minus 7 times yp prime that is 6a e to the 6x is equal to 5 e to the 6x. So this gives 36a e to the 6x minus 42a e to the 6x is equal to 5 e to the 6x. So this is negative 6a e to the 6x, 5 e to the 6x. So using equating coefficients, negative 6a is equal to 5. Then a is equal to negative 5 over 6. So since a is negative 5 over 6, yp is a e to the 6x, then our yp is negative 5 over 6 e to the 6x. So from there, our general solution, y is equal to yc plus yp. So ang yc natin ay c1 plus c2 e to the 7x. So y is equal to c1 plus c2 e to the 7x plus our yp. That is negative 5 over 6 e to the 6x. So therefore, our general solution y is equal to c1 plus c2 e to the 7x minus 5 over 6 e to the 6x. So that's our general solution. So meron tayong initial condition that when y of 0 is 5, y prime of 0 is 0. y of 0 is 5, y prime of 0 is 0. So let us try to solve this initial condition from our general solution. So y0, that's y is 5, x is 0. So substituting, we have y is 5 equals c1 plus c2 e to the 0 minus 5 over 6 e to the 0. Then c1 plus c2 is equal to 5 plus 5 over 6. So C1 plus C2 is 35 over 6.
So again, meron tayong initial condition that y prime is 0 when x is 0. So solving for y prime, derivative nito ay 0. That is c2e to the 7x times 7 minus 5 over 6 e to the 6x times 6. Then y prime here is 7c2e to the 7x minus 5e to the 6x. So this is 0 equals 7 c2 e to the 0 minus 5 e to the 0. Then c2 is equal to 5 over 7. By transposing that there, so magiging siyang 7 c2 is equal to 5. Then the value of c2 is 5 over 7. Then from substituting it here, masasolve natin ang c1 plus c2, that's 5 over 7, is equal to 35 over 6. Then, magkakaroon tayo ng LCD here. So, C1 is equal to 42. That's 6, 30, negative kasi itatranspose natin sa kabila. Again, 42 divided by 7 is 6 times 5 is 30. Transpose to the right becomes negative 30. 42 divided by the 6 is... Uh, 7 times 35. So 35 times 7 is 35. Carry 3, 21, 24. So that's plus 245 over 42. Then C1 is equal to 245 minus 30 is 215 over 42. So is that divisible by... Uh, 7 or 6. So C1 is 215 over 42. Let me check. 215 over 42. So that is... No, wala na siyang uh, common. So therefore, our particular solution Y is C1 that's 215 over 42, plus the value of C2, that's 5 over 7, e to the 7x, minus 5 over 6, e to the 6x. So that will be our particular solution. So let us try to check. 215 over 42, plus 5 over 7, e to the 7x, minus 5 over 6. So letter B is our answer there. So, let's try number two example. So, you have b squared minus 2d minus 3y is equal to 6e to the t plus 7. So, so you can see meron na tayong right side na k e to the mx at meron tayong additional na constant. So, ibig sabihin, combination siya nung dalawa. So, paano natin siya masasolve? So, again, solve muna natin ng yc. So that's m squared minus 2m minus 3 is equal to 0. So that gives us m minus 3. m plus 1 is equal to 0. Then you have m is equal to 3. m is equal to negative 1. So y is equal to c1 e to the 3t. So this thing roots ito plus c2 e to the minus t. So that will be our yc. Then for our YP, so since combination siya nung dalawa, so ang YP natin is A e to the KT, so that is e to the MX, so that's e to the T. And para sa constant, you have plus B. So that's our YP, so our trial solution. So from our given, you have YP double prime minus 2YP prime, this is double, minus 3Y P is equal to 6 e to the t plus 7. So taking the first and second derivative respectively para masubstitute natin dito, yp prime is a e to the t, derivative of b is 0. Then yp double is also a e to the t. So substituting, yp double prime is a e to the t minus 2. yp prime is a e to the t minus 3. yp is equal to a e to the t plus b is equal to 6 e to the t plus 7. So, 
simplifying a e to the t minus 2a e to the t minus 3a e to the t minus 3b is equal to 6 e to the t plus 7. Combining this all, magkakaroon tayo ng negative as 4a e to the t. This is 1 minus 2 is negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Minus 3b is equal to 6 e to the t plus 7. So using equating coefficients, lahat ng may e to the t sa kaliwa, this is equating coefs. Lahat ng may e to the t sa kaliwa, that's negative 4a. And that is equal to 6. Then the value of a is negative 3 halves. Then lahat naman ng constant sa kaliwa, that's negative 3b, is equal to 7. Then b is negative 7 thirds. Having that solved, yp is equal to the value of a, that is negative 3 halves, e to the t, plus the value of b is negative 7 thirds. So adding this yc and yp gives our general solution. So that's c1e to the 3t plus c2e to the minus t minus 3 halves e to the t minus 7 thirds. So this will be our general solution to that given differential equation. So that is letter A. So 